Today we are building the best budget streaming setup under $50. It smells like the American dream. We already got a PC, a monitor, a mouse, and the keyboard. If you want to see what's inside this budget streaming PC, it's going to be my next video. So subscribe for that. Now, if we are lucky, we should find all our gear here. This shelf is all the stuff I've gathered over the last year. And on here is the favorite budget mic of my viewers. It's the Sudotec ST800 from my mic comparison video, but it costs $50. Now, as you can see in this image, lighting makes a world of a difference. And I found a bunch of light panels as well as some of those budget soft boxes which by the way uses four of these but sadly none of these lights are within our budget the elgato key light $200. The big Rolino one, a fake Algato key light, $60. Then this smaller one, $40. Also too much because that means we've got $10 left for our mic. That's not enough. A softbox with four of these, $50. And then this small one was also $40. How are we gonna find a light that's cheap enough? Should we go DIY and go to the hardware store? All right, let's just do it. Look at me being outside for a change. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Once in the store I filmed with my iPhone because, well, social anxiety. And it was really hard finding the lighting department because this store was huge. I tried looking for something like a desk light, but I didn't find anything that was cheap enough. I feel like there's nothing here. Ah, f*** it, I'm just gonna buy something on Amazon. Now, another way to make your stream more awesome is buying a graphics pack from today's sponsor. Own.tv is a big graphics webshop for streamers with things like complete overlay packages to personalize your stream, an emote maker that lets you customize your own emote and then buy the designs that would be most fitting for your stream or your Discord group, a very similar badge maker, then pre-made sub badges, bit badges and emotes. Many of my community have already bought from them, I will add their link to the description and don't forget to use my code TVN for 50% of your price. Okay, so I did a bit of searching and I think I found a great light here on Amazon. This is a simple desk lamp. It's just over $20, which is the best it's gonna get. And this desk lamp will be a much better option than what other YouTubers are using for a cheap streaming setup. Since if you don't have a monitor stand like this, you can't attach the light to anything. Our option just clamps on your desk so everyone will be able to use it. So these mics are all below $30, which is about what's left of our budget. I wanna let you hear this difference between all these mics so i'm gonna start with the cheapest one which is called the eucus pc microphone with mic stand that's a typical cheap amazon product name now this is the only one that isn't a usb microphone it comes with an aux cable so i'm gonna quickly plug it in here and this is how the mic sounds now the price of this mic is around 16 dollars which is lower than what we're aiming for and if i remember correctly from the previous tests the quality is also pretty poor yeah so i just listened you're hearing this mic again Again, this is definitely not what we're looking for. Next, we have a mic that arrived in a pretty basic brown box. And this is an actual USB microphone. Let's plug it in. Now, this is a test of the Rolino M30. And apparently, it costs around $24. I also want to remind you that this PC here is a $550 budget gaming and streaming PC. So, if you're interested in that, it's one of my next videos. I built it. I filmed it. It's gonna go live on the channel. You can subscribe and turn on notifications. And the will see this video. I just listened to the recording with this mic and it wasn't bad at all but for a few dollars more you can get this Fifine microphone and I think this one was one of the favorites. Oh and I just checked Amazon and apparently this one here costs over $30. We're not gonna test it. I really hope this is a good microphone. So this is how the Fifine K69B sounds. This mic costs around $25 but overall this is one of the most popular budget microphones out there and it's for a reason because it does sound very good for the price. I'm currently listening to the recording and we're definitely gonna use this one in the budget streaming setup. Now in the box you will also find a mic stand and this easily connects to the mic by screwing it on. And I'm also gonna plug it in the back of the PC and put it here on our desk ready to be used. And there is something really important to mention. So I'm gonna add the microphone in OBS first. You go to audio, then here microphone. And this is how it will show up on your PC. Now on the front of the microphone here, there is a volume knob. And when I turn it all the way up, you will see that my audio here is speaking all the time. When I turn it to the left, then it will pick up the right volume as you see now. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to this microphone here. And the important thing to mention is that if you want the mic to sound much better, you will need to buy a cheap 
microphone arm. Listen to the difference. So now I'm pretty far away from the mic, but when I move it closer, my voice will be much more warm and much more full. And to achieve this, you will need a mic arm that brings it this close. So I'm gonna put it on my desk here and I will search for a good one on Amazon. If you just search for microphone arm, we will probably find one that's under $20. This one would be a good option. It's $14 and you will probably be able to screw this off. As you see here, this is how the end of the mic arm will look like. So you will just be able to screw this part here on the arm and then it will sound much more warm. But we didn't have the budget for that, so we'll use it this way on our desk. Now in the webcam comparison video I did a while ago, the cheap webcam was way worse than the old iPhone 5. So whichever phone you have, using it as a webcam will probably yield better results compared to buying any webcam below $70 to $80. By the way, if you want to see previous setups I built or comparisons I did, you can watch summaries of that on my Instagram. Sometimes I test image quality and then make a post about that or I make a short, stuff like that. If you are interested in streaming setups, gaming setups, RGB, webcams, mics, all that stuff, follow me on Instagram. Now this is how the iPhone 5 looked in my previous comparison video and today I want to use the OnePlus Nord. This is a mid-range Android phone that's known for the camera quality not being that good so I think that'll be the closest to what other people are gonna be using for this. So this will be our webcam for today. We're gonna use an application called DroidCam and this will turn your phone into a wireless webcam. When you open the app for the first time you want to go through the setup and then give it access to your camera and your mic. So then at the PC you could use this last URL, put it in your browser to access the webcam. However, sometimes that doesn't work since it can be blocked. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna search for DroidCam and then take the first thing that appears. Now you can choose your operating system, probably Windows, and then just click here to download it. Then once you open the program, you can go to DroidCam here, click on start, and then you will need the application on your phone. And now instead of the URL I mentioned before, we need the Wi-Fi IP and then the DroidCam port. So you just enter the IP and then the port and then you deselect audio because we have our microphone here. So then if you click on start on DroidCam, the camera will be linked. We can add a video capture device here. And then as you see, DroidCam source, we can make it a bit bigger here. The quality is already very good. Not like this camera here, but to use as a starting webcam. And this is for ADP. You can click on DroidCam on the top and then click HD mode. As you see, this screen pops up and you can select a higher quality. You will just get a watermark, but let's just do it to see what the quality would look like. I had to stop the screen recording because we need to restart our PC. And when we launch DroidCam again, it will be in 1080p now. Okay, so kind of a surprise. I restarted the PC, it's in 1080p now, and there is no watermark whatsoever, and the quality I think is better. However, you can definitely see that it's not 480p anymore, so yeah, that's even better. Now, since the light we ordered hasn't arrived yet, it should arrive pretty soon, I quickly added an Elgato key light here. I also made a very scuffed setup for the webcam here, but as you can see, it is working. So I'm gonna turn off my big softbox, turn on the room light, and so one light on the middle of the ceiling is what most people would be using when they are streaming without a separate light. So I'm gonna add the webcam now and this Whoa, I didn't expect this quality. Now I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. So this is just my room light, no special key light or anything. And now I'm gonna turn off my room light. So this is without any lights at all. And I'm gonna turn on my Elgato key light here just as a temporary option, just to see the difference. You can see that the left is much more flat compared to the right. But if we're honest, is this difference worth paying double the price? The microphone here costs around 25 to $30 and then the light would be 25. $5. This is actually really interesting because we're not just using the small camera that's inside this phone here, we're also using the software inside the phone. These companies that make the phones, in this case OnePlus, put a lot of research and development into upgrading their cameras and the post-processing. Because look at my background, it's completely white, the white balance is perfect. I'm quickly gonna turn off this key light here, I'm gonna turn on my room light, and I'm pretty sure that if I change the color of the light from yellow to white, that the background is immediately gonna readjust because the phone is gonna do it on its own which is never gonna happen when you use a cheap webcam so as you can see i can change the color of the light now and i'm gonna change it to complete white here so when i click on it as you saw my background became blue and then it immediately adjusted so watch the background there okay so one two three did you see it 
it turned yellow and then the phone immediately adjusted the white balance and this is going to be the case with most phones this is not a really 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 expensive phone it's not a trash phone but it did cost around 230 dollars which is definitely not a flagship model like this iphone here okay quick note i just connected my iphone it is an iphone 12 pro max so it is expensive it is known for the good camera the quality on this is even better so if you have a phone with a good camera you're gonna get a really good quality like this and this is with my room light let me turn on the Elgato key light. Now, while testing all this, the light has arrived. So we can quickly unbox it and then install it because there is a difference in quality. It just depends on your budget if it's worth upgrading. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. There is a watermark if you use the iOS version of DroidCam and then set it to 1080p. The Android doesn't have a watermark. Hi, important message. The video you are watching right now was filmed a while back. And in the meantime, I already made this video you see here on the side. Now, in that video, I did an in-depth review of the light we ordered in this video and i think it's definitely worth checking it out because the cheaper your webcam or your phone the more you will need the light i go over in that video thank you so much for watching please like this video subscribe to the channel if it was helpful and i'll see you in there